Right, good morning. Now, I'm repeating myself here. Um, bullion knots. I have made videos in the past about bullion knots. and But it is the thing I get asked about the most. Um, I can't do bullion knots. I can't. It doesn't work. It doesn't X, Y, Z. Help, help, help. So, I could have just done this post and referred you to previous posts. Um, but you can also look at those. If you go in the category list on my blog, it's in the sidebar, and click on bullion knots. I had a look before, there are a couple of videos there regarding bullion knots, but I thought I would just do it again. Because hey ho, nothing else to do, may as well make a video. So I think the biggest problem a lot of people have is they're not using the right needle. So for a bullion knot, I'll put that down there, then you can see, you need a Milner's needle, or a straw needle. They're the same needles, just different names. So with those, the eye where you put your thread is the same width as the point. And that's important because you're going to be wrapping thread around this needle and you need to pull it through. If your eye is bigger than your point, you, it's almost impossible. And if you do manage to get it through, then it, it's just going to be raggy and it's not going to look smooth or anything. Okay. Now I'm doing this white on white, but I have checked back. You can see this. It's quite... Um, quite visible quite clear so for a bullion knot mainly they're used as a surface embellishment to add texture and obviously decorative that's a flat one okay which is how they're mostly used like little worms so for one of those you would come up at a that's a where you've come up there's a knot in my thread go down at b now i would say just under half an inch away that one and then come up at a now you what you need to do now is enough wraps to cover that distance between A and B. Okay, and that'll depend on the thickness of your thread. So I'm going to say maybe 10 with this thread. This is fine thread. It's Cotton Abroad 25, which is finer than the 16 that I normally use. The 16 Cotton Abroad is thicker than the 25, okay? But I'm going to guess at 10. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Push them down. And then hold on to them, okay, so they don't move about. And then pull your needle through. And that thread is going inside those wraps to form a core, right? Push them down on the thread. And then go back down at B. And that's it. That's a bullion knot. Okay, a surface, textural, decorative bullion knot. Now these loops that I do that are like droplets, I do 35 wraps for those. So I come up again at A. And I go down literally almost in the same place but not in the same place so that i would say is less than a quarter of um, an eighth of an inch definitely so that's b come up again at a and wrap it 35 times now sometimes with this finer thread i do 40 45 wraps but for this purpose i'll just do 35 okay and i'll count in my head um all right Push them down again and then pull it through there okay now push them down and then go back down at B and that's your loop okay and it's simple as that and also I would say a lot of it as well is practice 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 okay you can never practice too much get yourself a scrap of cloth like I've got here practice just practice. I'll do another one because you can also do, so if I do another 35 wrap, but A and B are further apart, so quite a bit further apart there, maybe, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch, the same as this flat one, and then do 35 wraps. Right, push them down, pull it through, go back down at B. Now sometimes your thread tail gets caught in there, so you need to just pull it, that's it. <coughs> that's the end of the thread that's on the needle. And you go down at B, and you get like a little arch, like a little bridge. Can you see that? And then you can do those, so if you come up at A in the centre of that one, 
down K and then go down at B half the distance away again. You can do like a run of arches. I'll just do one more. And I'm sorry about the rattling, it's my bracelets. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Now the thing is, right, when my bracelets were rattling, I don't know if I was counting rattles or wraps. So if you were counting, and I haven't done 35, that's the reason. Right. Pull it through. Oh. Push them down. Go down again at B. There. And you can do a whole run of, like, overlapping ones. Okay, but personally, I love these little droplets on an edge. And you'll see that on the images in today's post. So that's bullion knots <laughs> about the nine millionth time. Um, but I don't mind. It doesn't matter to me um, to make another video about bullion knots. It's not a problem. Okay.